everyone and welcome to yet another video on my YouTube channel Mr. B Does Electronics. So today we'll be making this an Arduino controlled message board to which you can wirelessly send your message from your smartphone over Bluetooth. So I hope all of you are really excited for this one. So let's get on with the video. So this is the P10 red color DMD board that we'll be working with. If I zoom in right here, you can see the model number of the LED board along with the hub 12 connectors. So these boards are very versatile as multiple number of these boards can be connected in series using these connectors. So as you can see the direction of the arrows. So the signal will be supplied from this direction and if another board is to be connected, it is to be connected on this side along with this connector. So now let's focus on this part. This is the Arduino Nano and this is the 8C06 Bluetooth module. So first of all, let's talk about this connection. The RxDTXD pins of the Arduino Nano is connected to the RxDTXD connection of the 8C06 Bluetooth module. And the Arduino Nano is also supplying the 5 volt and the ground connection to that of the Bluetooth module. So coming to this part, this is how the Arduino Nano is controlling the DMD board. So this is the input hub 12 connector where the connections are made underneath the Arduino Nano with the different digital pins. So this schematic will be available in the description below if you want to refer to that. It is actually very easy. The particular pins are to be connected to their individual digital pins on the Arduino Nano and it will just work. And as we all know that the Arduino Nano can be easily powered on with the help of a 5 volt power supply. So we can actually make this work with the help of a power bank. So now if I take this and with the help of a simple power bank, if I connect the 5 volt like this, it will simply just turn on as you can see. So now, if I take my smartphone, go over to Bluetooth and you can see that 8C06 is already paired. Now I go to the Arduino Bluetooth controlling app where I select 8C06 and go into terminal mode and it is already connected. So I can write a simple hello at first and click on done. And as you can see, the hello is being printed. Uh, one thing to note on these DMD boards is that if we want to connect a number of them in series, one after the other with the help of the Hub 12 connectors, the Arduino Nano can actually send the message to all of them. But the power supplied to the Arduino Nano won't be sufficient to power all of them on. Even if they are on, the brightness won't be sufficient. So to mitigate that, these connectors have been provided and through these connectors you can supply 5 volt to these DMD boards separately which will make them brighter and much more reactive to the messages or the data that is being sent from the Arduino Nano. So if we want multiple in series so this is a necessary step as I have just done on one board uh, this is actually sufficient the power supplied by the Arduino. But even then, the brightness can still be extended if we supply a separate 5 volt to this single board. So this concludes our hardware part of the video. Next, we'll be focusing on the software and the programming part. Oh, and by the way, if you want to know about this 3D LED cube, check out the video in the card. So this folder will be linked below in the description. Once you open this folder, you will be greeted with the Arduino LED message board code right here and two zip files that is DMD master and timer1. Once you unzip these, these two folders, you need to copy these into the Arduino libraries folder which is present in documents. Then we go to Arduino, then we go to libraries and you simply just paste here. So now let's focus on the coding part for the Arduino LED message board with Bluetooth control. These are the libraries that are included in the coding. 
These two lines are important. This line signifies the number of the DMD boards that are present in one row in series. And this is the number of the rows of the DMD board that are present. Uh, you can change it according to your setup. Uh, this is the greeting message. You can change the message within the quotes. So this is the name of the channel. Uh, if you are not subscribed to my channel, I will be highly obliged if you subscribe like share and comment this is a fairly new channel and all your support is highly appreciated so this greeting message will be displayed before the bluetooth gets connected and any of your custom message is sent to the arduino over bluetooth the uh, rest of the coding you need not touch or change anything uh, here you can change the font type but here arial black 16 is given because the arial black 16 library has been included so you have to change the library here also for your changed fonts So now let's focus on our smartphone. We turn on Bluetooth to pair our Bluetooth module. Mine is 8C06. We give the pin number. By default it is 1234. So I type it in and hit OK. And this pairs our Bluetooth module to our smartphone. Next we go into Play Store. And in the search option, type in Arduino Bluetooth Control. Any Bluetooth controlling app will work. I am taking the first one, so it's already installed, I hit open. So as soon as the app opens up, it auto connects to the HC06 Bluetooth module. Next we go into terminal mode and we type in our message. Now we click on done and the message will shortly appear on the DMD board as you can see right here hello world. Next we send another message and it appears shortly on the DMD board as you can see right here. These messages are put in queue in the Arduino Nano's memory. So I hope all of you have enjoyed this video, if so, consider subscribing, like, share and comment this video with your families and friends. This is a fairly new channel and your support is required. So with this I am ending this video, see you on the next one, thank you.